In 1941, Edwin Hubble announced he refuted the expanding universe. That's December of 1941. I don't know if you guys are history buffs or not. But... As America entered World War II, Hubble tried to re-enter the Army, and they told him they already had a job for him in ballistics. He looked up ballistics and decided it must be either underdeveloped or highly classified. He found out it was both. He got a Medal of Merit in 1946 for his research. After the war, Hubble sat on the advisory board of the 200-inch Hale Telescope. It surpassed the 100-inch telescope at Mount Wilson as the world's largest telescope. In 1949, Hubble was the inaugural observer of this telescope, which is named after his former boss, George Ellery Hale. Hale originally invited Hubble to work at Mount Wilson in 1917, as Hubble was finishing up his doctorate. I don't know if you guys are history buffs or not. The U.S. had just entered World War I, and Hubble rushed through his thesis, joined the Army, and sent Hale a telegraph. Regret cannot accept your invitation. I'm off to the war. Hubble returned from the war and accepted a position at Mount Wilson in 1919. In 1920, the great debate was occurring on whether these nebulae were clouds of gas and dust in the Milky Way or separate distant groups of stars. The Milky Way was commonly thought to be the whole universe, though some thought the Milky Way was one of these island universes. Hubble ended the debate in 1924 by observing Cepheid variable stars in Andromeda. Using their properties, a distance measurement could be made. Andromeda was in fact a very distant system of stars, the true inhabitants of space. Today we know them as galaxies. By 1929, Hubble measured the distances to more galaxies, and with the redshifts measured by Vesto Slipher's spectroscopy, he found a correlation in their apparent motion. The further away a galaxy is, the faster it's moving from us. Due to the principle that we aren't in a special place in the universe, if everything is getting farther away from us, then everything is getting farther away from everything, and the universe must be expanding. This meant that Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe was expanding. But not if you asked Edwin Hubble. He wrote, The familiar interpretation of redshifts as velocity shifts very seriously restricts not only the time scale, the age of the universe, but the spatial dimensions as well. On the other hand, the alternative possible interpretation that redshifts are not velocity shifts avoids both difficulties and presents the observable region as an insignificant sample of a universe that extends indefinitely in space and in time. He concludes, two pictures of the universe are sharply drawn. We seem to face, as once before in the days of Copernicus, a choice between a small, finite universe and a universe indefinitely large plus a new principle of nature. That led us to the 1941 announcement that he refuted the exploding universe. Though Hubble rejected it, expansion was accepted by the new field of cosmology. Even the Big Bang's most well-known competition, the steady state theory, was an expanding universe theory. Though new voices and ideas in cosmology took hold, just as Hubble looked through a telescope named after his former boss, Today, we see the universe through a telescope named after Edwin Hubble. I should note, in Hubble's day, based on early measurements, the estimated age of the universe was only about 2 billion years old, which is less than the age of the Earth. So the restriction of the time scale was far more severe in his day than it is today. But the problem really never went away, and it isn't getting better. The links to all sources and attributions are in the description. Leave a comment or a complaint, subscribe, and thanks so much for watching.